We are live here at Same Sky Productions in Austin, Texas with Paste and Day Trotter, and we're here with Jamie Wyatt. Welcome. How's it Thank going? Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this first song you're going to play for us? Oh, yeah. It's kind of, I mean, I don't really know what the hell it means, but it's it's like, uh, lately I've been thinking, maybe it's just uh, like an L.A. Uh, tragedy song. Yeah. Sure. Whenever you're ready. Sorry.
was great. Sounded awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so the record is called Felony Blues, uh, and it's a great record. Um, and it draws a lot from your, some of your personal experiences. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I let's see. Where do I start? Felony Blues. Um, I just named named it that because, like, I was in the middle of trying to expunge my record and finishing this record. Like, I was mm -hmm. expunging my <laughs> criminal record, and uh, I was like, oh, shit. I always love that um, Penitentiary Blues by David Allen Coe. Mm -hmm. And then I was kind of thinking, like, gosh, most of these songs are kind of just about, like, well, obviously, they're my life. Right. And, and I, um, you know, they're, they're about going to jail and, like, fighting this case that was, like, uh, made such a big impact on my life. Mm -hmm. uh, well, especially because... You know, mainly uh, you have a felony and you can't get a normal job. Right. And you can't do a lot of things. Like, yeah. Uh, and so it's always kind of been a hindrance um, on like, you know, I I felt like it was a hindrance. You know, mm -hmm. and it, it felt like it felt like I was branded like um, bad. Yeah. You know, and th like this is something that happened when I was like uh, 21, and uh, you know it. It just like it just always followed me forever. So, anyways, right. I was like, I never really wanted to talk about it, um, and and it took a lot of years to like want to, mm -hmm. but I kind of felt like it was important um, because I do think it's kind of messed up in in yeah. this country that you you know like people get in trouble or they make mistakes even when they're young and like that's that's it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, well, can you tell us a little bit about this next song you're gonna play for us? Um, yes. Oh, we play this one. Oh, yeah, giving back the best of me. Um, I I wrote it with a friend uh, in Los Angeles, and uh, I couldn't really tell you what it's about. Like this, this is kind of just. I know that part of the lyrics are written on the road. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, on the road, I always feel like I'm in orbit. Like you kind of just, you come home and you're like, who are my friends? And <laughs> does um, this person still want uh, like a relationship with me? Right. Uh, and and what I didn't know was I was headed for a divorce at that moment. <laughs> uh. But so, but you know, you just try and do your best and try to be the best person you can. Obviously, um, people out on the road have uh, showed me a lot of support, and I have family like that is not family. This in mm -hmm. every city, you know. Yeah. Uh, this this sort of wandering nomadic life, you know. So I guess that would be like closest thing to a description on that song. So anyways, um, yeah, it's called Giving Back the Best of Me, and it, this is on the new record. Um, you'll get kind of like a, a different version of it live, which is fun for us to try and change things and mess it up. broken down car I got a stash of bourbon wrapped up in my coat of arms oh these heartless things I got a bag of lightning I got a cubby pot I'm afraid of surprises I'm never gonna get caught
Awesome. Sounded great, guys. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm curious, um, that sort of California country sound, you know, Bakersfield, that kind of thing, is that something that you always grew up listening to, or how did you sort of come to that? No, I mean, I grew up on 90s country and, and grunge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, that's, like, already just a bad start. But no, no, I, I, love, I love, you know. I love a lot of different kind of music. So uh, my mom always kind of sang like old school country songs in the kitchen. And mm -hmm. My dad uh, was really into folk, but then later got into country and also Texas country. And mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, oh, well, I guess I guess the reason I got into uh, like the Bakersfield sound is because like um, when I was in jail, someone was like, you know, Merle Haggard did time. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I never really dug into him. Mm. And like, and then so I did. Um, so that's like in my early 20s. And um, and uh, and then I discovered like my great grandparents uh, lived in Bakersfield and played country music and uh, oh, wow. kind of made sense as to why. Like I'd always do like some psychedelic country band when I was a teenager. Like mm -hmm. those, that's the type of music I always played. Uh, kind of made sense why I always sang so twangy or, you know, mm -hmm. didn't really know. Yeah. I mean, my mom sang kind of twangy, but they sang like folk, you know, and pop. Mm -hmm. uh, so I didn't really understand where it came from until then, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Well, you guys have one more for us. Can you tell us what it is and tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Yes. It's called um, Your Love and Saves Me. And uh, it's it's actually kind of like I devoted it uh, 
to or dedicated it to um, some friends of mine up in Seattle, and they're they're a really really amazing crew of people, and and they take care of me up there. And every show I play there, they dance like you've never seen. Like, mm-hmm. well, you're in Texas, so you've seen it. <laughs> you've seen it, but. Yeah. Uh, they dance very, very well, um, and, it's, and it's cool. It's like a whole crew. Like uh, they just come out, and and it's like a a big gang. And uh, they're called Underwood Stables. So okay. I dedicated this song to them, uh, and uh, they recently inducted me into the gang, and I got the <laughs> the, the gang tattoo. Uh, oh wow! So <laughs> awesome. The gang of of two steppers. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, it, it's really for anyone that supports me out there. All right. Before we let you go, uh, do you want to let people who are tuned in know where they can next catch you live? Yes, uh, tomorrow night in Dallas, folks. Uh, everybody in Dallas watching and listening. Adairs. Great. Awesome. Ad- Ad- Adarios. Adairs. 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 Best, I, I think the best burger I ever had was at Adairs, just for the record. <laughs> well, cool. Um, and thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. This has been great. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>